Good morning and welcome back everyone for the second match out of this best out of three between Artosis here playing on this account because um, this was held in Germany Cologne and um, he needed a European account to play without lag so he used this one so it's Red Zerg Artosis here and the Blue Protoss his Huck. This game like I was saying was taken from the Intel Extreme Masters that was played last week and um, it's from the group stages and I wanted to see those these players playing. I mean, as you guys know, um, the, the Terran versus Zerg just dominated the tournament and I really wanted to see some Protoss, especially Huck, because I actually like his playstyle a lot. And um, I think that Protoss needs some love as well. They deserve some love. I've been uploading a lot of Zerg and Terran and Protoss has been a bit um, on the side and I don't think that's fair. So let's get some Protoss on, especially with these two big players here. Artos, is, besides being a really good player, he's also an awesome shoutcaster and commentator. So uh, what's here to lose? Nothing. Let's just enjoy the match. And uh, keep in mind that Artos has won the first game against Huck, so he's leading at the moment and this is the second match. Uh, another thing I would like to tell you guys while they're just starting their openings, let me get the production tab up is that um, that uh, website forum that I, to that I told you guys yesterday, the orbitalcommand.org, is preparing the first tournament. They're gonna have a tournament, it's not for Diamond uh, League players, it's like lower brackets, lower um, leagues, but um, it looks like it's gonna be really interesting. It's gonna be a small tournament with a small prize, but um, it's a great way, an awesome way of like, People like all of us that just play this um, on an amateur basis, we're not pros, obviously, uh, to enjoy the tournament scene and to have a chance of showing uh, to the community that we're actually really good, that we know what we're doing, we do make mistakes like everyone, obviously, but we know how to play the game and we can actually pull out some epic matches. You know how things work, They're just sometimes on some silver or gold league or platinum, platinum league, you just have some really really awesome games so um let's see what comes out of of that tournament you guys take a look at orbitalcommand.org uh, so just uh, sign in for it and uh, keep an eye on that tournament because i think you guys should should just sign and enjoy it would be a good idea and who knows you might get some uh, a game shoutcasted here or on some other channel so um let's focus a bit on the game there's some zerglings coming out as you saw, the hatchery went down, but Huck was trying to be annoying, just avoiding that uh, Artosas uh, could be able to uh, place the hatchery there. He was just filling in the spot with this probe. And now we have two Zerglings on the ramp, just hanging there. There's a nice wall off here. W won't be easy for uh, Artosa to actually enter the place with these uh, Zerglings. He actually did a proper wall off there. There's not much going on. He's already working out of the two assimilators and just went straight from gateway into cybernetics car and actually getting sentries out. Though he already has one um, one zealot. Kind of interesting. Usually you go zealots uh, stalker, but looks like Huck is going for some sentries. Um, I don't know if any of you guys. Oh, they passed. They were able to enter the the place. Nice. They're gonna be just harassing. I mean, it's only two of them, but they can check everything around the back. And meanwhile, there's also a probe going here on Huck's side as well, checking out what's going on on uh, Artosa's base. And as you can see, he's going in, transitioning into a lair while this probe seems to go behind the smoke. Mm, he's getting warp gate technology. L let's see. Oh, yeah, he's gonna try it. Look, here it is proxy pylon, warp gate technology. If Artosa didn't notice this, it's gonna be messy. There's still a little Zerling running around here, got just got killed. And this is going to be dangerous. Artosis need to do something about it. I don't think he even has an army because he's been just trying to evolve as fast as he can. And look, Lair Tech already up. Not sure if he's going, going to go for a Spire or maybe some Hydralisks. There's some defense, some proper static defense for his uh, natural expo, but there's nothing in it. And look, the, the units are already getting ported. While he's also advancing with a small group on this side, just going down the ramp. Um, probably gonna check the entrance, see how the, the door to the main base is. Oh, two Zerlings passed by them. And uh, yeah, he's just slowly massing his units. He already has two sentries and he's building more Zealots, porting another one in. While yeah, Hydralis then and Spinecrawlers, Artosis is actually doing well, just 
placing his units properly there to get some defense but he left his door here and he doesn't didn't even notice it so i think he's in for some pain several zerglings battling the zealots but no chance they're just pulling back probably gathering with more yeah more zerglings there there's also two zerglings trying to harass on the mineral line but i mean two zerglings against this group won't be easy and look at the amount of units already amassed by huck behind the, the smoke screen assaulting the main base oh this is not good for artosis he's gonna be in for some pain all the zealots slicing and dicing the mineral uh, line mineral line just running away all the, the drones getting out and now destroying the the extractors look at it this base is just lost and i honestly don't think that artos is as much of an army because he was just trying to tack up to go to higher tiers and investing his minerals and gas on it so he doesn't have much look at this shield really nice shielding placing getting this hydralists way on the back not be able to shoot the spine crawlers are still landing finally still borrowing this one is already borrowed the other one's still going for it there's a third spine crawler going down but a ton of sentries and zealots keep getting ported in this place look he even has two pylons there now and now shooting at the main base the queen alone by itself won't be able to do anything here comes some more hydralisks but the hydralisks have the shields in front of them just cutting down the range not allowing them to reach as as much as they want and there's already a big big group from Huck on the main base huge harass there's also more units porting from the back also a, a small group incoming on the main door as you guys can see on the minimap the spine crawlers are trying to kill as much as they can but I mean there's so many units here look at the amount of sentries just shooting everything that moves small zerglings trying to come but there's not enough I mean it's just like a couple of zerglings they will get killed instantly more units getting ported from the back while this zealot all by himself trying to kill there now focusing the spawning pool oh Zartos has just lost this one there's absolutely no chance look more units incoming from the back Ugh, reinforcement just relentlessly destroying this base and I think Artos has already gave this one as a loss because um well he doesn't have enough to defend his main base maybe he can make a, a uh, uh, ground he can stand his ground on the natural expo but i mean he lost a lot of buildings here won't be easy okay here comes all the zerglings yeah he spotted the place now he knows what went wrong but he doesn't have enough zerglings yeah like kill one sentry or something like that he will be able to but there's way too many units here spine crawlers trying to fend off once more artosis won't give up he won't give up the fight he's trying to just stand his ground and probably try to recover by placing all the buildings on his natural expo but look at this place is getting completely melted down hydralis then will go down soon he's actually yeah he's building the spawning pool here so he's thinking about just uh, working out of his natural expo and forget the main base but the problem is he still doesn't have enough units to defend even the natural expo when all these units start going down that ramp it's gonna be messy he doesn't have anything here there goes the hydralisk then no more hydralisks for the artosis what a what a pile of pressure that huck is uh, uh, placing on artosis and artosis just won't give up getting more spine crawlers only has one queen here and one hydralisk i mean i'm not sure exactly what he's thinking about doing yet yeah, there it is gg is out of this game I, I mean i think he just went really fast to for tech he went for the lair and tried to get the hydralisk and he didn't have much of an army when huck invaded the place okay so uh, there it is you guys see the power of a proxy pylon that's how things work i hope you enjoy the game see you later i'm gonna get for the third game because now it's tied 1-1